Hello students, thank you for watching Edupedia World videos. So today we are going to start with the first topic of class 9 that is the fundamental unit of life. What is the fundamental unit of life? That is the organism which is present on the earth is made up of the cell. Each and every living organism contains the cell. So let us first define what a cell is. A cell in simple words is the structural and the functional unit of life. That means whatever structure an organism has is because of the cell and whatever function which is going on in a living body that is the process of respiration, the process of digestion is because of the activity of the cell. Also, the study of the cell is known as cell biology or cytology. Now there are certain discoveries which are related to the discovery of the cell. First of all, it was the discovery of the magnifying glass which opened the gates of the microscopic world. Using this magnifying glass, the scientist in 1665 named as Robert Hooke was the first who observed a thin slice of cork where he observed a honeycomb-like structures. These honeycomb-like structures he named as cellulae, which were later named as the cells. Another scientist who was named Lewin Hawke was a Dutch scientist who observed the living cells for the very first time. Lewin Hawke who observed the living cells. Then came Robert Brown. named and discovered the nucleus. Robert Brown was a Scottish botanist. And last in this series was J. E. Perkinje. who used the term protoplasm for the very first time for the living material which is present inside the cell. Then later on with the discovery of the cell certain theories which described the cell were also given by the two scientists who were M. J. Sheldon and T. Schwann. M. J. Sheldon, he was a botanist and Schwann was a zoologist. These two were the first to say the definition of the cell that is the cell is the structural and functional unit of life. But they were not able to discover how the cell existed. In 1855, Rudolf Virchow was the one who said that the cells arise from the pre-existing cells. So, there were certain postulates of the cell theory. The main postulates were that 
first the body of all living organisms are made up of the tiny units called cells. Second, the activities of the living organisms is the result of the activities of the cell. Third, all the cells arise from the pre-existing cells. Though this theory is widespread and accepted till today, but there are certain exceptions to the cell theory, like the viruses. This virus is, you can say, a boundary line between the living and the non-living world. As Outside the host, it acts like a non-living thing, but the moment the virus enters into the living organism, it lives like a living organism. Now this was about the discovery of the cell, the cell theory. In the next class, we are going to discuss about a prokaryotic, a eukaryotic cell, a plant cell and an animal.